Hi, this is Scoggett, along with Mrs. Scoggett. Good morning. And it's time for Sunday Drive with Scoggett. Today's drive is going to be down Erskine Street, Lubbock, Texas. And this is a pretty interesting street to go down as it runs into a, a residential neighborhood. It crosses uh, Clovis Road and then it becomes it goes out in like the country so this would be an interesting uh, drive here so I hope y'all can come along and hope y'all enjoy the ride come on people come along is there a railroad crossing yep oh didn't see any choo choos coming so I guess we're okay crossing I-27 here So is it supposed to rain, Mrs. Scoggin? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear the weather. I don't think weather. so, but it looks like it, uh, it needs to rain. Well, I didn't hear the weather. It looked like it uh, was going to rain last night. Yeah, it did. Uh, that big cloud blowing in, and then it, when it, by the time it got to Lubbock, it blew out. Uh, it just fell apart. It so, didn't even stick around. Not even a trinkle. Didn't even do anything. Nope, not even a little drop. We've had uh, uh, quite a bit of rain this year, though. Uh, they said, what, it was above the average? Yeah. I think the average is, what, 18 and a half inches a year or something like that? I think so. And we're almost, uh, I think, 19. We did pretty good, which we are grass needed it. Farmers yeah. needed it. We're out of the drought, you should say. I don't see any choo-choo train coming, so... Been waiting on that Cannonball Express to come through Lubbock from Pixley, but it never, <laughs> never gets here. <laughs> Tell you they need right. fix these. Bob lives around here. I'm going to have to go visit him. I haven't seen him in a while. You know? Yeah. See how he's doing. Or give him a call. I used to go drink coffee with him all the time. Probably wondering what's going on. Probably is. See, this used to be that yellow cab company here. So I, I think they, I think the cabs went out of business. Yeah, they did too. Because I never see any no more. Uh, I think Uber took over. <coughs> yeah, that Uber did the old job, just took it over. Yeah. I wouldn't even trust them either. I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. Now uh, we got to get on uh, University. We get on University Avenue and then get on Clovis Road, then we get back on Erskine. Don't see any choo-choo trains coming. That little hamburger spot over there that uh, Jim Dandy, he's been there forever. Oh, I know. They used to be the best burgers in town. They are good. They're still good. 
I haven't ate there in a long, long time, but then I can't eat that no more. I can't eat there okay. no more. Now we're back on Erskine, and we're going through a residential. I think this is like part of the Mexican barrio, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So we're, we're going part, through part of the Mexican barrio here. I used to live in the barrio when I lived on Waco Street. That was years ago. You, you grew up in it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. We used to go here to go to church all the time. We'd walk. Yeah. We'd walk to church from Baylor all this way. Yeah. And then we'd walk right back home. Looks like they're having church up here. They are. Or it's probably a cold over. It's over. What is that church? Uh, Lady of Grace. I've been there before. I used to go to it. That's where I made my first communion, but it was in a little bitty building. Nobody then there. there was a lady what got in an accident. Got she, killed yeah, over she here got killed the over here. Man, that was terrible. Uh, they ran her clear in the church. Guy was in a stolen car. And ran into her and knocked her into the church and it killed her. Man, that was sad. Mm -hmm. I think it killed him too. Yeah, it did. I think it did. Is that that's not the one you went to in elementary no. school, is it? No, mine's on the other end. Of What was the name of that school you went to, elementary? Uh, Jackson Elementary. Jackson. You know, uh, my daughter went to Jackson. And so did my brother. Anybody out there that went to Jackson Elementary <laughs> here in Lubbock, let me know. <laughs> we went to... I went to Kate Carter Elementary. Kindergarten. I went to uh, kindergarten to... Uh, Sixth grade. We went there. Finished and went out of there and did your junior high. Yeah, I went to K Carter. They tore it down and made some kind of Scottish Rite uh, college uh, out of it. And then now the Walmart sets where it used to be. Amazing. these uh, apartments these are all tech kids go to these oh, yeah. apartments here because it's pretty close to tech we can see these ones right here they're just like the ones over there by the bingo wall identical yeah the only thing is they're like in a, in a uh, community type thing yeah you know, it's, like a, these, it's like a little town their their houses what they what they are is their little town i guess you call them townhouses but it's in a gated community, so you like you in your little, little own oh, little town. that is that town. part. That, I forget. Yeah. You, you go through Bingo, going that way to Bingo, yeah, that, all that area. It's all tech students, I bet. People just throw, you know, they can rent them out or move into them. I don't know what to deal with for them. Just... Well, I think there are townhouses and there people buys them, they're for sale. Right. And it's like a kind of, a, a community, a gated, it's a gated community, like a little small town yeah. within a section. You're right. I get it. Get it? Get it. Got it? Good. No, don't stop. They just keep on going. Well, like he has a right of way. He don't have to stop. I'm going to go too. Well, he don't have to stop. When you come around there, because you got another lane here. Yeah, but still they can all make I'm a I'm in wide this turn. lane. I know, but they'll make a wide turn with my city. Oh, yeah. Why 
on the spine. Okay. You feel my side, I don't want to get whacked. <laughs> You already had an accident in this car once whenever you thought you were doing NASCAR. You were I didn't mean to. Yeah, I know. You didn't see the Volkswagen. You saw me, you could have hold it. Good thing it was an old Volkswagen. It didn't do hardly no damage to it. A little dent, he made it look like he had the whole, had the whole car renewed. Dent, a dent in the bumper. Wonder why that's the future home of what? Storage, storage units. More storage units. Yeah, they build up over this way. Because all these houses never used to be here. What you gonna do today, Mrs. Coggy? You decide. I don't know. I think I'm gonna answer some comments. But I think that's about it. Might make a video, I don't know. Just say, just thinking. Uh, another uh, uh, about another ten days, Mrs. Scoggett, you can be packing a gun. That's when the constitutional carry comes into effect. Boy, people are gonna go crazy then. You know, I'm go going to keep my license to carry. I'm not letting that go. I like the idea of being able to travel through all the states. What recognizes my certification. Mm -hmm. Where on constitutional carry, you can only carry in the states what's constitutional carry. Right. So I'm keeping my license. I'm scared of is these people are going to realize they can, you know, or, or they can carry a gun. They've never carried a gun before. Right. And they go down and, and buy a gun and then all of a sudden they don't know how it operates and the gun goes off. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some people which shouldn't even own a gun. They're not. They're not responsible enough to even own own a gun. More or less, carry one around. And uh, you know, you don't have to have any training or whatsoever right. to uh, carry. Or you know, you just strap it on, buy it, strap it on, put it in a holster, and carry it. Just, uh, I don't know, it's, constitutional carry is good, but like, like I say, there's some people who shouldn't be carrying. Right. I've been carrying a gun since 1978.
we're getting out in kind of like a country atmosphere here. That's why I say it's kind of an interesting drive because you're in the city and then you're going out in the country here. So which gun are you going to Mr. pack? Are you going to pack that old 357 Magnum Thumb Buster? The one, the one with the ivory, uh, ivory grips, the, the, uh, the high poly, uh, the nickel plated with the ivory grips. That's going to be your gun of choice in a Western holster. I've got the Western holster for it. Right. Yeah, that's the one you need to carry. But then you carried guns before, so. Yeah, you carried guns before, you know how to handle them. Yeah. That's pretty neat, having a house built all by itself. That's the way I like to live. No neighbors around, all by myself. We got good neighbors. Yeah, we, we do. We got good neighbors. Never have any problems out of none of them. Watch out for everybody. can't see because there's a little incline. Oh. You may have to make them turn back. No. I can pass them, but I once this car passes, I just couldn't see because of that incline there. Stop sign is where this video comes to an end. That's the end of Erskine. So we uh, hope you all enjoyed this uh, Sunday drive. We enjoyed having you along. Y'all, y'all uh, stay safe out there and take care. Bye.